Hello everyone, this is Liam from MindBuild77, and welcome back to episode number 3 of my Minecraft Java series. So, as you guys can see, I'm starting outside my episode because I have some new updates to show you guys um, in terms of the house. So, as you can see, there are a few windows that are poking through this pillar, um, which I call like the elevator up to my main house. And um, that's because I've been working inside this to make, like inside this um, square like pillar thing um, for it to like house like different rooms and stuff. Um, so first of all, j let me just show you. So instead of like all the furnaces being here like last time, um, I got rid of them and instead just have like a crafting table here and my chest with like a bunch of things in it. Um, and then upstairs, if we go up here, you'll see that it doesn't, it's not just like a, a wall here anymore. It opens up into a furnace room. And I also have added some windows so you could see the island and some of the ocean and the house. Um, and also another window here so that I could see like the mobs underneath my house, um, just in case. Um, but yeah, I have some furnaces here. I believe I have 12. Um, yeah, I do have 12 here. Um, so this will be like my main furnace area. And then I'll have like some chests up here. Um, this will be separate from the kitchen, by the way. That will be like upstairs in my house. This is just for like smelting items um, that I need to. Um, but we're not done yet. If we go up another level, we have a chest room, so like a storage room. Again, we have some windows overlooking um, some different areas. Um, and I really like the views that we get, especially from this one, it looks really nice. Um, but I have some chests here and I have some stone in here so far. Like this stone, uh, like the regular stone blo uh, blocks, which I wanna make into smooth stone to like put around the house to make it look nicer. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I've done so far. This has stayed the same. Um, and then I'll show you the roof. I don't know, just something to do. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing so far, but that's not the purpose of this episode. We're not gonna be building today. Instead, we're gonna go and try and find um, a bed or at least source a bed, so like find some wool. Um, so you might ask how we're gonna do that. Well, we're just gonna go exploring for a little bit, uh, maybe like 10 or, 10 or so minutes and see what we find. Um, so yeah, I do have some food on me. I, I have this dried kelp. Um, which I did get from like going out in the sea and just like breaking some kelp. And the amazing thing about living right next to an ocean is that, oh my god, you see like this is so annoying. Like they keep on spawning under here. I should really put, place more torches. Um, but yeah, the amazing thing about living right next to an ocean is that you have a never ending food source. So I can just, as you can see, go down here, break some kelp. And since I'm not breaking the source block of the kelp, it will just keep growing indefinitely. Um, and since there is so much around here, I have like an endless supply. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get some things together and then I guess I'm pretty much ready to go. I haven't really decided which direction I wanna go to try and find um, these sheep for my bed, um, which I'm in desperate need of. Um, I have not slept one day in this world yet. Um, so yeah, but I saw there was like, I think I saw an island over in this direction one time, so I might want to go that way. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I got like the kelp, which I'm sure you guys already know. Um, so what I might do is I might chop down a tree, make a boat, and then sail out. So as we can see, there are a few, is that a goddamn skeleton? No, I thought it was a skeleton that was still there, which is entirely possible. Um, so yeah, let's chop down a tree and make a boat. Um, and then make a crafting table also um, so that we have like some supplies because I currently have no wood on me, which is pretty crazy. Um, all right, so crafting table done. Let's make a small boat. I mean, there's only one, si one size of boat you can make. Um, you know, what? I might make two just in case um, so to keep on me and then I'll keep my crafting table. I'll need that and I'll just replant the tree because why not? I like to keep them, you know, I like to try and plant as many as I can or replant. Um, so we're just going to ignore that Enderman for now. I don't want to get caught up in like an Enderman battle for two minutes. Um, so we're just going to sail out right away. And look at, they've been like decorating my island a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's just sail out and see what we find. I have my food. I have um, an arrow for, sorry, that was my discord. Um, yeah, let's just travel out for now and see what we what, see what we find. So we'll just say goodbye to the house, bye house, bye island, and we're off. So I'm not sure what we're going to find. I have been here before, but I just like, 
basically looked at the island. I didn't like go and actually check. Oh, look, there's like a cavern or whatever over there. Oh, wait. Oh my God, it's a, it's a, what's it called? A Ender Guardian, no, Elder Guardian Temple or whatever. Um, what are they called again? I, I forget, but it was like, um, I forget what that thing's called, but leave it down in the comments. I've been there many times, don't worry. Um, but yeah, that'd be, it's like so close to my house. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, we'll have to fight the Elder Guardian sometime down the line. Um, it's amazing that we just like have an island or like living right next to it though. That's pretty rare. Um, so yeah, like I said, I don't really know where I'm going. I have been to this island before, like I have seen it, but not that much, if that makes any sense. Like I just saw this much and then went back. But it looks like there's some sort of a beach here. So what I'll do is I'll make a, some sort of a beacon or tower just so that I know like how to get back. I don't know how tall I'll make it, just like this is enough, I guess. Then we can jump back down. I sh maybe should have brought more torches. Oh yeah, that's something else I have to get more coal. Um, okay. So we have some sort of beach right now. Looks pretty nice. Um, oh, what's that? See, like I haven't seen this, um, all of this yet. Let's cut down this tree for wood and I will replant it to keep the natural terrain going. Uh, there used to be time where I, I would like wait for the saplings to drop. But I'm, <laughs> I'm always in a rush, it seems now, so I just like to get it out of the way. Um, yeah, so, oh, of course, it's almost nighttime. Come on. Okay. Well, we have a sword. We're pretty prepared. Um, yeah, this is my skin. I don't have any armor yet, but that will be something we have to change. Look at this. It looks so cool. That looks pretty neat. Um, so, yeah, definitely we should go in that direction, I think. Because... There's a possibility of there being sheep, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but let's just go exploring. Like I said, I won't go out for too long. Um, but let's just see what we can find. Uh, there's some like coarse or like, what's it called again? Coarse dirt or whatever? Yeah, coarse dirt. I got it right. Um, I don't really need that though. Ooh. Oh my god, coal. Yes. I desperately need this. Thank you, Minecraft gods or Mojang. Um, oh yeah, I also have two more people to add to my, uh, the signs, like the thing like where I commemorate, com sorry, commemorate people for commenting. Um, so I have two more people. Uh, my video, these videos have actually been doing very well on my channel for the amount of time that I've been away. Um, they're getting like, you know, a few comments and stuff, which is really nice to see. Um, uh, the last, the first video that I posted currently has like 33 or 34 views. Um, and then the second one, which I just posted yesterday, has like 20, um, which might not sound like a lot, but I mean, for me, after being gone for like a year and a half, that's pretty good. And it's nice to see like old people commenting um, on like new videos that I've seen in, in like my comments for like years at this point. But we'll get more into that like once I add them at the end of the episode. Um, okay, so we seem to be in some sort of savanna. I'm really, really nervous because mobs will... Oh, yeah, there's a zombie. Um, maybe this wasn't the best of ideas to go without a bed, but, I mean, I don't have one. That's the whole point, reason why I'm out here. Um, okay. I'm not sure where to go, to be honest. Like, oh, my God, creeper. I guess what I could do is, like, try and find a different island or something. Either way, I've been successful in getting coal, so at least I have that. But you know what, I think I should go a bit further. Maybe I should try and find a different island or something. I'm not too sure. Let's try. Oh my god, that creeper is... He almost got me. Okay. Let's just keep going in this direction. Um, I should know somewhat where I'm going because... Let's see. The moon is going to rise in this direction, which is... It's going to rise in like the direction I need to go home in. Oh. Oh my god, is that a sheep? <gasps> Oh my god, I found a sheep! Did I bring any iron? No. So I'm gonna have to kill him, unfortunately, since I don't have materials for shears. But oh my oh my god. Oh my god, this has been so easy. I already found sheep. I can't believe it. Okay, so one black. I really don't like killing them, but I mean, I need the wool. Okay. Yeah, I'm already done. But you know what? 
I might. Is there anything else worth getting here? I don't think so. No. It's a really nice area. There are like lots of ponds and stuff. It looks really nice. One day I might, like one day in this series, I might come out here and build, but who knows. Um, let's just keep going this way a little bit. But there are a lot of mobs. Yeah, like look at how beautiful it is. Oh my god. Just leave me alone, please. I guess we'll head back since we we got what we were looking for. I'm not sure if I'm going if I need like three of the same kind of wool to make a bed, but we'll see when we get home. I can always like go squid hunting if I need um, them to all be the same color. Um, but this is amazing that I've already gotten my three pieces of wool because um, when I looked over and saw like the sheep over there, um, I only noticed one and I thought that the rest were cows, but then. Coincidentally, there were three or four there, so um, I got exactly what I needed, which is pretty neat. Um, so I, I think my best bet would to be... Oh, we're already at the beacon, so we can just go around this. And what's nice is that we already, always have this pillar, so I always like know that I've been here and um, how to come back. It'd be cool to make like a map of the world someday. I'm not sure when, but that'd be cool. So, according to my calculations in my brain... Uh, uh, we're pretty close to the house. Oh, there's a squid. Should I go get them? I mean, might as well, right? Yeah, why not? Uh, I love squid. If you guys don't know, back when I started my channel, like, seven or so years ago. Oh my god, they're so fast now. Um, like, I had a squid skin. Like, the uh, squid face. Um, so, I mean, they are my kind, I guess. I don't really like killing them, but... Yeah, they have ink now. Oh my god. No, I can't risk this. I have to go back. I, do, I mean, I do have food now, but... Let's just see when we get home if we can make a bed. I'm not sure if I if it needs to be the same color. Um, Probably not, though. Uh, Where's the beacon? Okay, so this way. Yeah. What's nice about the kelp I've been noticing is that it, it doesn't give you much health, but you eat it very quickly, which is kind of nice. Because, like, with steak or pork chops or whatever, it takes, like, a good half a second to, like, eat one. So it's much quicker to eat the kelp. Or dried kelp. So, I should be running into the house anytime, right? That's what I hope. Um, I don't see it yet. Let me, go let me know if you guys can. Um, oh, did I see something? I really do hope I run into it. Maybe if I just keep going... Oh, there it is. I got worried for a second. Um, but yeah, that was so successful, this trip. It took like, I don't know, five or six minutes. But I already have... What do I have? I have a, p a piece of coarse dirt. I have wool and I have coal. So I got more than what I wanted, to be honest. It looks like the mobs are not spawning anymore, which is amazing. So my torches really did work. For a second, I thought that torches didn't do anything to prevent mob spawning, but... I guess I was wrong. Um, okay, so let's make our bed. Yeah, we can't make it without... Okay, do I have like some sort of dye? You know, I do have flowers outside, so I might just pick a few of them. Uh, wait, what happened to all the mobs? Oh, there's one there. Um, I mean, I'd be happy if there were none, but I don't think we're going to get that. I guess I'll make a red bed. Okay, we got what we wanted, now we can go back and hopefully not get killed in the process. I might put some torches around so that it doesn't get as dark with the mobs. This Enderman's really testing me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess I'll make the bed and then we'll end the episode. Um, like I said, it's a pretty successful one. Um, okay, don't need to place that down. Um, Alright, so we can make the dye, then we can place the wool in here. Oh, there we go. And it will be a classic red bed. Um, I really do love the red bed, so that'll be nice. In the future, I might make a double bed, but for now, seeing as I only have three pieces of wool so far, I'll just keep it like this. So, like I said, I want my bedroom to be on the second floor, so I guess I'll put my bed up there. And there shouldn't be any mobs, right? Yeah. I'm not sure, I'll just place it wherever, but once my bedroom is like fully done, I'll have a spot for it. But yeah, let's go to sleep in our first... Yep, I have an advancement. This is so cool. Alright, 
yeah, so I guess I'll end the episode here. Look at all the mobs burning. Um, like I s oh, shoot. Oh my god, I just made a grave mistake. Um, but yeah, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there definitely will be one soon. I won't give any guarantees on when. Where is he? Oh, and it's raining now. Um, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will stick around for the fourth one. Oh, wait, I forgot. Sorry, please don't click off the video yet, guys. Um, I need to add someone to my garden, or whatever it's called. Um, okay. I should be okay, right? Yeah. So, one great thing that Mojang added is the ability to click and edit signs. So, the two people I'm going to add today are... Oh my, shoot. Oh my god, I died. I'm sorry, guys. Please just bear with me and let me take out this Enderman. Okay. I think he's not angry anymore, so we're good. Um, Alright, so back to what I meant to do. So, I'm going to be adding today um, is... What the hell is going on here? Cursed world, I'm telling you. So, DK who has commented on many of my videos over the past couple of years. So big shout out to you. And I'm also going to be adding Mindjo, who has his own YouTube channel. I'll probably link it in the description. I'll also link Goofy Rider's channel. Um, and yeah, we might, me and Mindjo might do a video together, like exploring his world. But those are the two people I want to give thanks to. And I officially filled out one sign uh, and like 100 left to go. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll stick around for the next one, which will be out sometime very soon. Bye, guys.